hello friends and family welcome back to my virtual class I'm so glad you came back my name's Hayden um, if you've been here before you're probably wondering why I'm upside down yes I was wondering that thing too you see Ever since we got sent home for quarantine, things have been a little topsy-turvy. Do we agree? I think we all agree. And sometimes you feel a little bit upside down and like you can't focus on the things that you need to be doing. And I thought since you guys are at home trying to learn things, that you're probably having a hard time focusing too. So I have brought a very special friend with me today. His name is focused Fern Francis. He's gonna help us uh, get rid of the. Ooh, what's that? Look at all these rocks. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, a hula hoop. Oh, a kitty. I could look at you for hours. Come back. Oh. I'm gonna add this one. Look, look. Balancing books on my head. distracted energy help us to fuel our bodies and prepare to be focused on the moment at hand. Woo! I'm losing my head over here, Focused Fern Francis. Take it away! First name Focused, middle name Fern, last name Francis. I'm gonna tell you what's the word. How to stay focused. Make your eyes lasers. That's the end of the rap, kids. That's as far as I got. Um, cause I'm too focused on helping you focus to finish my rap at this time. There are some tricks and tips that I have brought with me today to help you stay focused at home. And, uh, you know, it's pretty simple. You gotta sort of think of yourself as a plant, really. You're like a plant, except you can walk around and, and, and move and, and talk and do lots of things that, that plants cannot uh, uh, do. Uh. But you're like a plant in the fact that you need food and water to survive. Not only to survive, but to focus. So you're going to want to uh, always start your day with a nice uh, a snack. A snack to fuel your brain. You need the food, you need the nutrients, so that all the little gears in your brain are turning real good. So, you know, take a... What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you have to peel it. Oh, you have to peel it. I just... I didn't realize you had to... To peel the oranges, everybody update oranges have a peel that you have to peel back uh, to eat uh, an orange and uh, uh, delicious. Finish this. Eat the whole thing. You don't have an orange, there's probably some sort of sustenance being provided by your parent or caregiver. Eat it. And no complaining, no whining. If it's green, you better eat it. It's good for you. Next up on the list is water. Now, you can drink water. Uh, this is uh, purified drinking water in a bottle. Uh, you can certainly drink purified drinking water out of a bottle, but you may also use the tap in a reusable glass. Humans, believe it or not, are made up of 60% water. That means more than half your body is water. This stuff right here, I'm just gonna take a little, a little sip delicious and nutritious and it keeps your brain all nice and you know juicy and full of water and that's, you know, that's just how things go you need water to live I don't know if anyone's ever told you it's one of the most important things you can drink it's life-changing it's incredible we're one of the only planets in the solar system that has this stuff it's insane to think about we're so blessed water for the win! All right. Uh, the next thing you can do is sort of, sort of, uh, I'm gonna say it's a two in one. It's a two in one, it's a two for one, it's a buy one, get two, for the price of one. Actually, it's, there's no money involved. You don't have to pay for this. 
but I'm going to let you in on one of the best ways to stay focused on what you're doing and what your peepers should be peeping at. So, one of the best things you can do as a person is get the blood flowing, get things moving, do a nice stretch. My favorite thing to do uh, to get the blood flowing and to train my mind to focus on the moment that is occurring is do a little stretch and share. A stretch and share is a fun way to uh, get the body going. Yes, get the stretches going. You can do one of these. You can do one of these with some head rolls for the neck. Your neck is very important. It holds up your whole head. It's heavy, you know. You gotta stretch it out, loosey goosey, and then share something, you know? Because if you're sharing with the people around you and you're, you're stretching, you're not only getting the blood flowing, you're also living in the moment with the people that you are with. And that's a beautiful way to learn how to stay focused. And don't think of it as, oh, I've got to do this thing. Think of it as, I get to live in this beautiful moment with these beautiful people. So I'll do a stretch and share real quick just to show you, you know, what you can do. What's it, what's it all about? So I'll, I'll do one of, uh, why don't we stretch our little fingers and our wrists since we're about to be doing shadow puppets, huh? Okay, so we start doing a little, one of these and I will share with you, you can do the stretches with me, do a little, do a little wrist roll. I will share that today I am excited that all of you guys are gonna learn how to make a moose with your hands. Well, I, uh, I'm focused Fern Francis, and uh, I thank you for listening. I hope that you too are able to focus today on the things that are at hand. Live in the moment. I love you guys. I hope I get to see you again for more tips in the future. Back to you, Hayden. Wow, thanks, Focused Fern Francis. You know what? I'm coming down. I'm gonna live in the moment with you guys. It's a beautiful moment to live in. I'm gonna put my hat on. <sighs> wow, hey guys. Round of applause for Focused Fern Francis, reminding us of uh, food, water, and living in the moment with people uh, as ways to be focused. I know you guys are at home doing full-on school with your parents and it's hard because some moments are moments of schoolwork and you don't want to do it but you got to so you can grow into a big beautiful smart person. Do it for your family. Do it for yourself. Live in the moment with those people. Okay. Now if you would be so kind as to join me in the current moment that I'm living in our class today. I know. So much dawdling, you forgot we were gonna learn how to make a puppet with our hands! And just so you know, you guys, this week, we're gonna be making a moose. Wowzers! I know, I've never seen a moose in person, so I did a lot of uh, looking up what mooses look like and, you know, what they are, and, you know, just... Just such a well of knowledge out there about these gigantic creatures that I will have a short segment for you guys just showing you a few pictures of these big beautiful beasts and um, I'll share some little facts with you about moose because here in Louisiana I doubt any of us have ever seen a moose but we will be bringing the moose into our own homes this week using our lovely materials. Let's get a round of applause for the lamp! Oh, one of the Yes, it's the lamp. It's the light source. It comes in lamps. It comes in flashlights. It comes in candles. It comes in the sky. There's a big burning ball of gas in the sky called the sun. And you can actually make shadow puppets with that too, I realized this week. We're going to do some outdoor classes eventually because the sun is a great source. Just keep an eye out for shadows, you guys. There's always a light making it happen. Like this one. I love you, lamp. Thank you for helping me make Shadow Town. You gotta appreciate the people you live with during these times, okay? Um, next up on the list are your hands. Oh, these beautiful hands. They do so much for us. They feed us, they bathe us, they hydrate us. They help us make things to, you know, like Shadow Puppet Town. To make people happy. 
hands are so crazy. And you know these things attached? Yeah, did you guys know that these are called phalanges? Scientifically speaking, fingers are called phalanges? Crazy? We're focusing, we're focusing. Anyways, light, hands, phalanges, and the wall. Oh, the wall is our stage, isn't it? And let's get to that stage, shall we? But first, as I promised, have a little nature documentary spotlight moment on the beautiful creature that is the moose. Hey guys, welcome to the nature segment of this program. I'll be walking you through some photos and explaining to you that basically moose are gigantic. They are the biggest member of the deer family, scraping the scales at up to 1800 pounds as a full-grown adult. Moose can weigh up to the same amount that your mama's Nissan Versa weighs. That's a big animal, you guys. Six feet wide antlers, up to a ton. These creatures have no natural born predators other than humans. While these creatures are huge, they can run up to 35 miles an hour. Don't try and outrun a moose. You will not win. While these creatures are very fast runners, they are also surprisingly wonderful swimmers. During the cooler months of the year, moose will wander the waters in search of aquatic plant life, as they are or or er, herbivores. Herbivores. Is that right? Is that how you say that? Herbivores, meaning that they feed on plant life to sustain themselves. Now, while these large creatures prefer to live in cooler climates than exists here in New Orleans, we may be able to see them walking around in our own homes in shadow land. Take it away, Hayden, and show us a safe way to view a moose in our own homes. Hey guys, and welcome to Shadowland Part 1, where we will break down the hand movements to make our moose in Shadowland a wonderful and safe way to bring a gigantic creature into your own home. Um, so it's going to be pretty similar to what we did last week with our first hand movement. It's going to look just like this right here, just like what we did with the horse, but the only difference is you're going to fold your thumb down like so. Now we have our nice snout and part of our neck. The next thing that you're going to do to put the cherry on top of this moose is to create its antlers. And the way that you do that is with your other hand, wrist bent backwards, fingers curled up, and you're going to rest your arm on your other arm with your wrist bent right onto your other hand. Like, so, oh, oh, it's a moose. Beautiful moose. Oh. I know you don't believe me, but that's the sound a moose makes. I'm going to play the tape. I'm gonna play the tape. They sound like dinosaurs. <laughs> I don't speak moose very well. It's hard. It's very difficult. Our guest today is, is a moose. <laughs> hush now, hush now. Thank you. Thank you for the example. Our moose today does speak moose, but she also speaks human. She speaks a few different languages. She's gonna come in, she's gonna share some stuff with us. We're gonna have some fun. Let's focus our attention spans at the moment at hand and let our moose friend take it away. Take it away, let's go. Be in the moment with our moose friends. Woo! Ah. Hi there, guys. I'm Mirtha the Moose. Mirtha, M-I-R-T-H-A, like Martha, but with an I instead of an A at the beginning. Well, hi, Mirtha. I actually know someone named Mirtha, you know. <gasps> you don't say. Is she a moose like me? No, actually, the Mirtha that I know is a nurse. <gasps> you don't say. So she works in a hospital? 
She sure does. Wow, that's pretty impressive stuff. You know, she's working on the front lines of all this scary virus stuff. Have you reached out and said thank you yet? You know, I haven't gotten a chance to reach out and say thank you to Miss Murtha. Oh, well, let's not waste any more time. How about I do it for you right now, and then you can send it to her, and she can hear a thank you from us. Oh, Hayden, it's so important to let the people you know and love know that, that you appreciate them. You're right, Murtha. All right, one thank you from Murtha the Moose to Murtha the Nurse coming right up. Oh, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Miss Murtha, thank you from the bottom of my moosey heart for all of the hard and brave work you are doing at this time. I know it's hard to be away from family, especially when you do the job that you do. I'm sure it's so stressful and scary, and I want you to know that we think you are so brave and kind and positive. You're a beautiful light in the lives of many, and we love you. Oh, Mirtha, that was really sweet. Well, Miss Mirtha's sweet. You're right, she really is. What are some other good ways that we can say thank you? Oh, I know some good ways. Well, I, I, I know you say thank you in English, like, Thank you, but you could also say it in Spanish, gracias, or in French, merci, or you could do Italian, grazie. It's a fun one. I love other languages. They're so beautiful. Yeah, they are. They really are. But what I was asking, Mirtha, is what are some ways that we can say thank you without words? <gasps> oh, well... Personally, I like to make handmade gifts. Specifically, I like to make little drawings of people. I think it makes people feel really nice and loved and seen to have a little drawing of themselves. Don't you think so? I do, Mirtha. That would be cool. How do you do drawings in Shadowland? Well, it's actually quite simple. You see my shadow on the wall there. You just hang up a piece of paper, and you can trace my outline and then fill it in for me. It's much easier than trying to draw it freehand. It's a little, a little trick of the trade, I'd say. Wow, what a nice piece of paper. Perfect. Now that you've got your paper taped to the wall, you'll just need a helping hand. We've got one here with us today. Look at that beautiful helping hand. So now that you've got your moose and your helping hand, you're going to want to bring your moose very close to the paper so that you can get a nice outline. You'll see here. Let's give it a go. <clears throat> oh. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. That tickles. All right, yep, and don't get the antlers. They're my pride and joy. I grow a new pair every year. This one's a nice pair, I'd say. One of my best. All righty. <gasps> it's beautiful. All right, you guys, real quick. Mirtha the Moose went on a little bathroom break, and we're going to surprise her. When she gets back, we're going to have this finished and completed. So as you can see, it already looks like a beautiful and lovely moose, but we can do a few things to add to it and make it even more beautiful. Now, I'm doing this as we go. If you mess up and it's not exactly perfect and beautiful the way you want it to be, well, that's okay. There's always room for more tries. And if they are a good and lovely moose friend like I know she is, she'll love it no matter what. Okay, so I'm going to go in and maybe give her a little bit of an ear right here. Yeah, and give her some little ear hairs. It's a nice ear. And then, you know, maybe close off these antlers a bit more. I'm gonna give it a little antler detail. Go around them a little bit. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do is give her some eyeballs. So we're gonna give her a nice little eyelid. That's her eyelid. Now, let's go ahead and give her some beautiful blue eyes. How about that? That could be nice. Oh, yes. Oh, very good. Okay, and of course every eye has a pupil, so let's go ahead and give her one of those as well. And, um, 
let's see, what's next? That's not dark enough. Let's see, let's do a little darker pupil. Now, that, that'll do it. And maybe we'll give her some a nose. She's got those little slits on either side. Oh, beautiful. Oh, very nice. Now we can do some lips, hey, shall we? She's got a nice little little uh, little pucker going right here, so I'm gonna go off of that. Give her some nice little lips. Here we go. Color them in. Maybe get a little crazy. Do some detailing here. It would do another little red color to fill in the rest of her lips. Oh, so beautiful. I think we're done. Now you could go in and color this all in and give her hair or whatever you want to do. It's your moose picture and it's your... Oh, I was about to say, this whole thing is for saying thank you, so we need to write a thank you note. Oh, almost forgot. Here we go. We'll write it up in this corner. Perfect. Feel free to design and color even more than this. This is just what we have time for today before she gets back from the bathroom. I think I hear her coming down the hallway. Let's get set up and ready for her. Oh my goodness, you colored it in! It looks marvelous! Oh, oh I love it. Oh, and it says thank you. Wow, thank you guys for having me. Of course, Mirtha, come back anytime. I certainly will. Can I take my painting with me? Of course, that's for you, Mirtha. Thank you! And that's all from Mirtha the Moose! Yay, Mirtha! What a lovely shadow puppet friend. So happy to have her and Focused Fern Francis here with us today, where we all learn together some ways that we can help our brains to focus during these crazy times. Let's remember what it was. It, it's to eat food, because you can't focus when you're hungry, because then the voice in your tummy is louder than the voice in your brain, and you need to be able to hear that one. Next thing up is to drink lots of water. As we learned, humans are made up of 60% water and you need to keep that 60% replenished so that you can keep all the juices flowing in your brain. And after you eat a snack and drink some water, get moving and share something that you want to share with the people you're stretching with because then you're not only getting your blood flowing but you're also focusing your peepers and your ears on the people that you're with and the moment that you're living in with them. And it's a beautiful moment that we don't want to miss a single minute of. After that, we, we talked to Mirtha the Moose and learned how to say thank you in three different languages and also how to say it without any words at all and just with drawings. I hope that you guys take this lesson this week, learn to be a little more focused in this crazy time, and also learn your moose shadow puppets. Maybe do some drawings of your moose or maybe do some drawings of the people that you live with. You can do the same thing with your moose shadow puppet that you did, uh, and you can do it with a person as well. You can outline their profile and draw them too. It's a great way to learn how to draw things that you're not necessarily comfortable drawing freehand. Um, so yes, learn that, do that, have fun, make some drawings, make some puppets, say thank you. Move your lamps back to their appropriate places with the help of your Lord of the Lights in your house. Give them a hug for going to Shadow Town with you. And if you have any questions for me or suggestions, I know I've said in previous videos that you can comment on these videos and tell me if you want to learn a specific shadow puppet that I haven't done yet, or if you have a question that you want to ask a shadow puppet friend. I said that you could comment, but you will actually need to email this email right here. If Future Hayden is smart enough to type this email out somewhere on this page, it'll be incredible. If not, we'll definitely get a title card in so that you can know exactly the email you need to be sending your suggestions to. It is info at communityworksla.org. So that's who you can email to give me questions, suggestions. If you have your own shadow puppet songs or drawings that you want to share with me, I would love to see them. It would be just, it would be 
beautiful. So, thanks for being with me here today. I hope I see you again next week in my class where we will learn some more shadow puppet fun, I'm sure. Until then, you guys stay safe, wash your hands, stay well, and uh, yeah, that's all I have for you today. Bye guys, I'll see you next time!